Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Ross and William. And we are here today to do an experiment. So this one we're going to do a little, we're going to start it right now. And then we're going to come back and look at it every couple of hours and see what's going on. So um, if you watched our Harry Potter video, and if you didn't watch it, um, we will link it in the description down below so that you can check it out and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any more videos. But um, if you watched our Harry Potter video, you know that we soaked an egg in vinegar and it ate the shell off. So we thought, what else could we soak an egg in and see what will happen? So basically we want to see if there's more than one way to make a bouncing egg like we made in Harry Potter. And um, so then one of the other things that I was curious about, I was curious if we did, if we soaked it in coke was there a difference in what will happen between coke and diet coke what do you think William because I have no idea I mean their names differently so that <laughs> means different stuff should happen different outcomes okay that's yeah sure that's my logic okay so that was something I was curious about and um, you know that, that's when you're curious about something just try it out and see so William's gonna put the eggs in the liquids one at a time and he's gonna give us just a little description of what's what happens when the egg goes in so is it fizzing does it just go in and nothing happens um, whatever he's gonna he's gonna tell us what happens um, and then we're gonna come back every couple of hours and we'll let you know how many hours have gone by and uh, we'll we'll see what's going on with these eggs so William where do you want to start oh might as well just go like this okay sounds good so that one is the regular Coke. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's red now. That's all I can say. Okay. It's red now. Anything? Are you seeing any bubbles in there? Or I'm kind of seeing. It kind of looks weird. I'm kind of seeing like bubbles coming up. I'm seeing like the egg turning like a bubble. Ooh. Not like a bubble, but you know what I mean. Like, are the bubbles around the egg, or? Yeah, like they're yeah. like on it. Okay. Okay, so let's put it in the Diet Coke and see if you get the same reaction. Okay, so what do you think? This one's starting to come out. Hmm. Oh, so William's saying that the egg is, it almost looks like it's starting to float in there, right? Yeah, it looks like it's kind of dying. And in the Diet Coke, it's it's sunk down. Yeah, it's just dying in there. Okay. Nothing's happening. And it really, yeah, it doesn't look... Don't eat sugar, kids. This is what it does. Yeah, the reaction is really different, isn't it? It makes you float. <laughs> okay. I can't even see it. We can't see the egg, but that's okay. I can Do you see anything it. happening on the surface? Like, no. 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 It looks like it's just kind of... It's literally just dropping in. Yeah. If you didn't know there was an egg in there, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. No. So we've talked before on the channel about a control group. So the water is basically our control group. So it's not anything there's no nothing acidic there's no base in it it's just water um, and then we have vinegar and then we have um, soup broth because why not because why not that's mm -hmm. right we didn't know if it would all right is this water so that one's is that, is that water that one's the vinegar oh, so right. let's see what's gonna happen here whoops <laughs> It is, it's isn't it? It's, it's moving it around a bit. Yeah. And what do you see happening in there? It does. What do you think? There's some, can you see some bubbles coming up? If you look over top of it? Mm, yeah, no. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit? Little bit. Okay, not as much as the Coke, though, right? No. The Coke was definitely well, yeah, more. Well, yeah, it's Coke, though. It's carbonated, right? Coke is carbonated? Uh, wait, okay, I so... I might as well waste the white one in the water. Okay. I sure wonder what's going to happen when it goes in the water. <laughs> I need to get my hands with this one. I need to... Yeah. All right, there you go. Just do the other one, too. <laughs> wow, but it's doing a lot. Is it full of action in the water? <laughs> yeah. The uh, broth. Um, so what's going on with that one? Absolutely not. Absolutely nothing. So, which ones had pretty much nothing going on? Uh, the water, the, the broth, and the orange juice. I mean, who knows? Something could be happening in the orange juice if you really have the big brain 
simulation. That's true. Yeah. No, but if you look here, right, you can still see bubbles in the pop. You can see bubbles coming up in the vinegar. You can't see anything going on in the orange juice, but we don't know what's going on because we can't actually see in there. So we will, we will pull it out with a spoon um, when we check on it. We'll see if any of these things are able to eat through the egg, the egg shell. Um, and then we'll see if any of them... The vinegar might. You think so? Would, do you think any of the other ones will? The Coke, there's a chance. Okay. The, um, definitely the water, 100%, 100 of the water. Like, it's going to eat through the shell. It's going to, it's, you won't even see an egg in it when we get back. Other than that, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe the orange juice? Because, again, I don't know. I'm curious about the orange juice because dentists always say you should limit the amount of orange juice that you drink because it's bad for your teeth because it eats away the enamel. So I'm wondering if it's going to eat through an eggshell like it would work away at our teeth. So we're going to come back and uh, we're going to give you an update on all of these as we go along. Okay, so we're about one hour in and if you have a look, the vinegar is floating, but if we look really closely, you can see the texture of the shell is starting to change. The water the egg hasn't changed at all, and it's at the bottom. Um, the chicken broth, it doesn't look like there's any change, and I scooped it up from the bottom. Next we have the orange juice, and it looks like no change either. It was at the bottom. If you have a look here, this is an interesting comparison one. So the Coke and the Diet Coke, um, you can see they both have some foam where they've had their bubbles. You'll notice the Coke egg is floating and the Diet Coke egg is actually down below, so it has sunk. So just an interesting comparison there between the two. And um, they both are still, the Coke is going kind of in phases where it's letting off some bubbles and we're seeing some, some action still. Um, the Diet Coke doesn't look like it's really foaming very much, but it's it's got that foam sitting there. Um, and no real change in the shells in those ones right now. So that's after one hour. Okay, here we are four hours in. And something to note in the vinegar egg is there's lots of frothy, foamy stuff. But if you look in the jar, you can see the bubbles moving. So there's still some movement happening there. The water egg is unchanged. The chicken broth egg, we still can't see, so we'll scoop it out. And it looks, it's got that nice, shiny, hard, clear shell still. Now, a change right away with the orange juice is that this is the first time after four hours that we've actually been able to see the egg. So we haven't seen it before without fishing it out. So now we would know that there's an egg in there. And the texture is still that kind of um, bubbly, ridgy sort of texture. So it's certainly not smooth. Um, Diet Coke egg and Coke egg. So we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison there. Neither one really looks like it's fizzing. Diet Coke egg is still submerged under the Diet Coke. Um, but I am going to scoop it out so we can have a look at the, the actual shell. It still looks pretty smooth. Not a lot of change to the, to the texture of the shell. Let's fish out the Coke egg and see if there's any change here. Not really any change there either. Still very smooth, glossy looking. Um, so we'll check back in in a while. So here we are 17 hours later. And I think the most noticeable thing about the vinegar egg is the amount of foam that is surrounding the entire egg. So you can see if you look underneath of it, there are some white parts, which may be the shell sort of disintegrating. Um, so we'll come back and have a look at that one in another couple of hours and see what we find. The water egg is still very much unchanged. The chicken broth egg still looks like an egg, regular, shiny, nice shell on it, and it's staying close to the bottom. 
the orange juice egg has stayed close to the top, so I do want to have a look and see if there's anything going on underneath. There is some stuff going on underneath, so I'm, I'm trying to get that there. So you can see actually the shell looks like it's starting to wear away at that point, um, almost like it has a sunburn, like it's starting to peel away. So we'll keep an eye on that and see what happens. Diet Coke egg and the Coke egg. The Coke egg has actually sunk a little bit. Um, the Diet Coke egg has less foam around the top. The Coke egg pretty much has no foam around the top. So let's fish it out and have a little look here. So this is the Diet Coke egg. Oh, okay. Now, what I didn't notice when I went to reach in there is there's like a film on top of the Diet Coke. So you can see it's starting to... I don't know, wear down in a weird way. Um, it's breaking down, but not in the same way that it has with the vinegar or the orange juice. It almost looks like the, the shell is peeling off in layers versus uh, the, the bumpiness of the other two. So that's the Diet Coke. Let's see what's going on in the Coke egg. Oh, same thing, that film is there. Now less less sort of peeling like it actually still looks it looks more intact than the diet coke one that's after 17 hours so we're gonna let it go for a little while longer for a few more hours and uh, we'll keep checking back in okay so here we are 68 hours after we put these in their containers so william is going to scoop them out one at a time and then we're going to bounce test them see if any of them bounce so what can you tell us about the one in the orange juice, William? Uh, Ooh, it looks like it's got a peeling sunburn. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It, it does look weird. It does look like it has a sunburn now. Okay. This one is the Diet Coke one. Kind of looks, I don't know. That one just kind of looks like it changed color. It does. It looks a lot darker, doesn't it? Okay. Is the eight, Is the shell still really hard? On that one? Yeah. Yeah. They're okay. all so far they all open. Okay. This one kinda looks more like wood than an egg. Oh yeah. Yeah. Would... Hmm. So they don't look super different, the Coke and the Diet Coke. Although I I don't know, do you think the Coke, the Diet Coke looks a little darker? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what do you notice about the vinegar one? It's a little bigger. A little bigger. Whoa. It's huge. Holy moly. I'll take the water one out, but we know it's the same. Okay. So no change to the water one. That was our control one, right? What about the chicken broth? A little bit. It still looks really like a normal egg, right? Especially when you compare mm -hmm. the vinegar and the chicken broth. Ooh. I'm pretty sure only that one's going to bounce. Okay. So let's try... Yeah, William says he thinks only the vinegar one is going to bounce. Um, what do you think? Do you want to try the orange juice, or do you think it's just not a bouncer? It's, is it still really hard? It's, it's hard. Okay. Okay, so let's try the vinegar. Alright. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well there you have it. That's the second time. That is the second time. That one we didn't drop from as quite uh, a height, but it still... <laughs> it, it didn't bounce. So, I think the sweet spot is about 48 hours. I think we probably left it too long. Um, and we'll talk about... A little bit about the the uh, membrane of the egg being permeable so it got so much bigger because it actually absorbed some of the vinegar um, so yeah now you can see our our counters are still not level because that egg is sliding away so <laughs> we're gonna go clean this up so um, probably we can conclude that the orange juice the coke and the diet coke were all um, fairly acidic because if you think about eggshell and how solid it is the fact that it it uh, managed to eat through some of that is pretty, pretty, um, what's the word we're looking for, William? Cool. Cool. <laughs> there you go. It's pretty cool that it managed to eat through some of that. Um, and then we can assume then that chicken broth is not at all acidic and neither is water, which is a good thing because we need to drink lots of water. So we are happy that you were able to tune in with us today. And we'll look forward to talking to you on Monday for a book chat and Friday for another crazy science experiment. Remember to subscribe to the channel.